joining us now in the studio, author, vlogger, Twilight fanboy, Caleb Nation. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Caleb? Doing wonderful. Yes. You are so multi-talented. I remember when I first met you, you know, it was just because I knew about your YouTube channel, but then I found out you are an author, which is incredible at such a young age. Well, thank you. And you've written multiple books at this point. I have two books that are out in bookstores still, and then I have this new one called Harkin, and this one went straight to Kindle first, and it'll be in print soon, but this is my new novel for teens called Harkin. A novel. How fancy of you. And what is this one all about? Well, Harkin is basically the story of a teenager named Michael Asher, who discovers that our world is under the control of this race of creatures who aren't from our planet, who secretly can control our world leaders, our celebrities, the wealthy, the media, and by controlling those four things that basically run our lives, they control our lives without us knowing. Is this based on reality? Could be, kind of, sort of. It's, it's conspiracy kind of, theories, uh, I see. Conspiracy yes. theories, and it's kind of on the idea of reptilianism, which a lot of people actually believe is real, where these reptilian-like creatures disguise themselves as human beings and tell our world leaders what to do. This is fascinating. How do you come up with these ideas in the midst of everything else you do? And what's the process of writing a book for you? Well, in, uh, for writing Harkin, it was so weird because whenever I was growing up, my mother raised me on a lot of conspiracy theory. She believed in a lot of this stuff about how governments fly planes over us and drop chemicals in the air and, wow. and make us Those are nice, and, nice ways to fall asleep. Yeah, it was right? a wonderful, wonderful childhood. <laughs> <laughs> but then as I got older, I thought, oh, my mom's crazy. And then I got older. and <laughs> We all think that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks that. And I researched it and I thought, well, wait a second, some of this stuff could, there's a lot of evidence this stuff could possibly be true. And so I decided to write a book about, well, what if it is true? What if I take that little bit of doubt that's in my mind out and I write a book about what if this is real? And so your, mom, your mom did it for a reason. Yeah, that's why the book's dedicated to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the fan chat right now. Bree. Okay. What advice would you give someone who has a good idea for a first novel? How do you get motivated and get started? Uh, well, if you have a good idea for a novel, write something that you really, really love. Write an idea that is enjoyable to you, not something that you think is going to sell. Like, if vampires are big, don't go write something that's a vampire story just because you think it's going to go and sell. Really? Write a story that you really, really want to. Because whenever I first started writing Harkin, yeah. it, the conspiracy, nobody's into conspiracy theories. That's not a big thing right now, but it was what I wanted to write. And so readers can tell whenever they read your book if it's something that you wanted to write yeah. or something you just wanted to make a bunch of money It needs to be authentic. Of. And we're yeah. actually going to be giving away a poster today. Exactly. We have a poster. You, you can it? just go get it. We I'll are live. So, so we have a poster for everyone. He's going to sign it. What, what is the question? Leave what, this in the comments below. There we go. This is the, ooh. Whoa. It's a real poster. It's huge. So how can people win this? They can win this if you leave a comment down below. Yeah. And just leave a comment about the book or your favorite line from the book or what your favorite book right now is down in the comments below. And We're encouraging we'll literacy. We're encouraging reading. Yeah. <laughs> but not only, you know, not only will you win that, but we also have a huge prize pack where you get a postcard and there's a glow-in-the-dark ring that comes Whoa. with the book. And you get That's a glow-in-the-dark awesome. wristband. So there's a bunch of stuff you'll get. That is so cool. Uh, so let's go back to your YouTube series you just launched in 2013. Yeah. It's called 2013 is ours. You're claiming the year. That's claiming the year. powerful. Is it called 2013 is ours? It's called that, yes. I think that's its new name now because yes. that wasn't originally what it was going to be, but I like that Well, we title. like throwing ideas yeah. out there. <laughs> well, the, uh, the idea behind the, uh, the vlog series yeah. is I want 2013 to be my year. I have a book coming out. Yeah. I have all this, this stuff that's going on. We're working on a TV show, and, and everything is kind of all the work that I've been doing since I was probably 14 years old for 10 years now is coming together this year. I want this to be So you started year. your business at 14? Yeah, yeah, I started my first business at 14. Totally well, I started writing sense. my first book at 14. <laughs> we see all these on this show. We're like, oh, what were you doing, you know, last year <laughs> or while you're in elementary school? Uh, we're like, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, I think when I, yeah, it was when I first started writing my first book was when I was 14. That's but I, incredible. I, I want to document all of 2013. I really have a big feeling that this is going to be my year. And I don't want it to just be my year. I want it to be the year for a lot of people. And that's why I'm trying to encourage all of the people who follow me online and who watch me, film something every single day. And m my idea is I'm going to film something every day and then combine it together once a week into a kind of reality style show of all the best parts. Which makes it easier because we always try to figure out, as people creating content on YouTube, like how do you do this every day? I think that's a great way. You shoot every day, but then you compile it into one weekly video. Yeah, exactly. That's a great tip. All right, we're going to go back to the chat room. Three. Are you sad now that Twilight is over? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I enjoyed Twilight while it was out. It was so much fun to watch the huge 
phenomenon and all that, but I'm really happy. It was wonderful while it was around. I loved doing it. I loved watching it, and those months were so funny. Oh, it brings back memories. <laughs> yeah, it, it does bring back memories. The Twilight fans are the <laughs> I was best seeing a little tear in your eye. I know. I miss you, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said that 2013 is going to be a big year for you and everyone. So we've actually looked up some of the most anticipated movies, TV shows, and video games coming out this year. Whoa. I'll give you the titles. I want you guys, Brie, you too. Okay. Okay? To guess if it's a TV show movie or video game, then I want you to guess the plot, because we're going to get creative here. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. And are you ready, all of you watching? <laughs> Pain and Gain. Movie. Brie? Sounds like a TV show. You just wanted to say something else. <laughs> it is a movie, directed oh. by Michael Bay. You probably knew that because you covered I've never heard stuff. of it. Really? It's based on a true story about bodybuilders who kidnap and torture a rich guy that works out at their gym, trying to extort him. That's exactly what I was guessing. Oh, is that the Mark guessing. Wahlberg? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's with yes. Mark Wahlberg. There you go. Should have known. You, can't, you can do your entertainment news too. Edge of Twilight. I'm going to start with you, Brie. Edge of Twilight? Video game. You? TV show. You're right, Brie. It's an action-adventure video game. The world is split between two societies, light and dark. Lex, an amoral bounty hunter, is half-breed and outcast from both societies that must just figure out how to bring them together. I'm so look forward to that one. Third one, the to-do list. TV show. It's a movie. Come on. I don't. <laughs> it's a movie starring Aubrey. Sorry, I didn't go to you. You didn't give me a chance, Shira. <laughs> I'm God. Sorry. Uh, the answer was just waiting to come out. It's a movie starring Aubrey Plaza, a girl who's about to start college, Ooh. decides she needs to have her more sexual experience first. Oh. Um, gross. So maybe I thought this was too close to home for you. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is uh, Ready for Love. Oh. You. Game show. Brie. Ready for love. I'm gonna say it's like some sort of foreign French movie. <laughs> <laughs> Je suis prêt pour amour. That's actually how they would say it. Oh. Wow! Yes. Oh. I'm from Montreal, you know. It's actually a reality show. You're right, game show, reality show produced by Eva Longoria, hosted by Juliana and Bill Rancic. Three eligible bachelors work with professional matchmakers to find their soulmates. And we're gonna go to our last one today, Family Tools. What is it, Caleb? Game show, reality game show. I'm going with that. That sounds like a movie. It's, you guys are both wrong. Oh. Great way to end this segment. It's a TV sitcom. After failing in everything else in his life, a man decides to take over his father's handyman business. How cute is that? It's kind of like, you know, Tool Time, yeah. Tim, whatever. I grew up with that show. I forget it. Home Improvement? Home Improvement! <laughs> God, God, that was Tool Time, Tim. <laughs> that show with Tim. I grew up with it. I don't know. That's what it should have been called, Tool Time oh. Tim. Exactly. I'm going to bring that one back. <laughs> I'm going to start the Tumblr, tooltimetim.tumblr.com. Yeah. Big thanks to Caleb Nation. Yeah. Woo! The book is Harkin. It's out for Kindle right now. Go to readharkin.com for more. Be smart, kids, in the new year.